In this video, I'm giving you 6 tips and tricks for defending in Valorant. My name is Buster and on this channel, I make educational Valorant videos to help you improve at the game. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe. Defending can be tricky and if you just make one mistake, you could lose the control of a site and the whole round could be ruined. That's why it's important for you to hold sites as efficiently as possible. And that's what I'm gonna help you with in this video, so hit the like button and let's get into the list. The first tip is, set up crossfires. A crossfire is where it's called when you and a teammate is holding an angle from two different positions. For example, holding A short on Haven from sight and the right side corner when you come up short. Holding it like this makes it so that the enemy walking up short can't possibly kill you both since you're holding from two different sides and this makes it really hard for them to get into the sight. If one of you were to die, then you promise a trade kill from your teammate, which is huge to not put yourself in a man disadvantage. This can be done in any site, any angle. Setting these up can require a bit of communication, but if you have someone in your team that you can rely on, this is a really good strat to use. The second tip is for you to delay with utility. Using molotovs, smokes, grenades or even ults to delay pushes is one of the most effective techniques you can hold on sites. Smoking off an entryway to the site when you hear enemies using their utility or hear footsteps can often make the enemy team start questioning pushing and if they should back off or not. If they do push through it you have a big advantage because you'll be waiting for them on the other side of the smoke and in most cases they won't be able to react in time when you start shooting them as they walk through the smoke. Mollies and grenades are also really great for softening up enemies and dealing some more damage to them or stopping a push totally. When the enemies are on a save round you can get quite a bit of kills from this as the enemies will be very weak without armor so throwing a grenade in their face when they're pushing is super powerful. Stalling pushes with the help of your abilities gives your team time to rotate so they can help you or even set up flanks making the retake a walk in the park if it comes to that. Retakes can usually be quite hard but if you give your team time enough they can set up a flank and that's gonna make it super easy. This is also why you don't want to waste your abilities at the start of the round and you actually want to use them when you can get value out of them. The third tip is for you to play retake. Playing for the retake is when you're holding a site and you get pushed so you decide to back off and play further back. You might think that you're giving up and in a way that's true but sometimes that's the most effective way of holding a site since you'd most likely end up dead if you just stay on the site and get pushed. Playing retake can be done in different ways. You can hold the site like you normally do and then you see a bunch of utility going towards the site and you choose to back off and play for the retake or you could choose to play for a retake from the start of the round. Choosing to play for the retake in the beginning of the round is in most cases the most effective way if you're holding a site alone as this allows you to get the required info, hold off for a bit to let your team come help you and then you all go in together as a team team to take the site back. Retaking the site is especially useful if you got the man advantage. So you play for the retake so that you can't die alone on site with nobody to help you and then you go in together and trade out each other. And since you got more players alive, trading each other is going to be really effective. Trying this when you feel like you're going to get killed when holding is a really good strategy. Tip 4. Play for time. Playing for time should be the main objective when holding a site. Stalling and waiting for backup is probably the most effective way to hold the site when you're getting pushed, as playing too aggressively will most likely result in a quick death. When getting pushed, you shouldn't hide totally, but instead take angles, fall off, take angles, fall off, and keep going like that. A lot of players make the mistake of repicking dry often, and that's a very easy way to die. Asking a teammate to smoke off an area or you using some utility like a flash to peek should always be the main priority if you feel stuck somewhere. Dry peeking is never really a good idea if you have utility to help you out. So keeping in mind the time and how long it takes for your teammates to rotate when holding a site is really important because you should try your absolute best to stay alive as long as you can and you don't do that by peeking the moment you hear the enemies are pushing. Tip 5. Switch up your positioning. One of the biggest mistakes is playing the same position or angle every round. This is fine if nobody has seen you do it but once you die once in that position you should switch. If you want to stay one more round, that's fine. But the second time you get killed there without doing much is the time to reposition. It's really easy for the enemies to play around your setup on a site if you keep doing the exact same things every round. This is why switching it up with some aggression sometimes is not always a bad idea to catch the enemies off guard. I think sometimes people are too scared to play aggressively on defense. A bit of calculated aggression can be really effective if you do it right. Since utility exists, you can very easily get a race nade thrown at you or a molotov forcing you out of the position you're in and therefore dying without doing anything to help. So switching up the position or even playstyle is crucial if you want to hold down a site well. Tip number 6. Use off angles. Off angles are angles that aren't commonly used. Let's say you're holding B on Ascent. A very common angle for the defender to sit in is below the walkway from main to site and then you shoot the enemies coming as they get into site. This is however a very common spot to sit in and most times it will get checked or even pre-fired by multiple enemies. Instead, you can sit further back on site, take cover from one of the boxes and hold lane from there as it isn't as obvious of a position compared to sitting right next to lane. It isn't always a bad idea to play the most calm positions, but doing it all the time can get predictable. And you should try to be as disruptive as you can while playing and you don't do that by being predictable. 
This is just one of the examples and there's no rule to off angles. The reason they're called off angles is because they catch the enemies off guard, so any angle that isn't common can be called an off angle. They can simply be sitting in a common spot but positioned a bit differently, either further back, more to the left, right, etc. Experiment with this and find what you like. Give these tactics a try if you aren't already and you should see a lot more success when defending. If you're interested, I got a discord server where you can get help with any aspect you're struggling with, get your VODs reviewed, find teammates to play with and more, so check it out on the link in the description. That's all I got for today, thanks for watching, I'm out.